Well, the gods in, in ancient Greek um, mythology and, 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 and theatre and so on are, are uh, they're, they're representative of what most people I think now would describe as kind of different bits of the psyche. I mean, there's a nowadays since you know Freud and discovery psychology and all, all sorts of things. Um, uh, there's a complicated um, uh, met metaphors of of the mind and what the mind is like and um, uh, or what the self actually is is like. Um, and very often, m most theories of mind and self have got different compartments or different some sort of different system of different they're not literal bits of bits of the brain but they're bits of the self uh, and in order to talk about that uh, you uh, different thinkers have had uh, kind of different systems and different constellations of, of phrases and uh, terms and so on and um, uh, they haven't got that in ancient in ancient Greek at all the the, the, the the idea of the self as being a sort of internally complex thing is not really present, as far as I can make out. Uh, it, in the way people talk about it, I mean, obviously people had the same complexity as they do now. Um, they weren't sort of, you know, more simple people or anything then. Uh, uh, but it's externalised. Uh, so, um, so for instance, so. Uh, uh, that doesn't really crop up in Oristar, but, but it often does um, in many other plays. Um, erotic um, urges that can often be very uh, uh, destructive um, or ecstatic, um, disorderly urges are have got gods and goddesses representing that, uh, who sometimes um, actively intervene in order to, to stir up to stir up trouble so I, I think what most people would now think of as being to do with the internal uh, internal structure of the self in, in, in ancient Greek uh, theatre is um, uh, there's an equally complex uh, but apparently external um, set of gods and goddesses that have who have different they're not at one with each other. They're, they they argue with each other in childish ways, and they are they 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 struggle for uh, for the loyalty or, or of certain mortals, um, and so on. Um, and um, it's an extremely effective, um, wonderfully effective way of representing human com conflict. Um, uh, inter internal and external as well in the Trojan War, some of the gods were on the Trojan side, and some on the uh, and some on the Greeks, and um, they uh, or, or both, or they have certain favourites and so on. So, uh, so the um, they fight their battles through the agency of mortals. I mean, obviously, because there aren't really gods, so so it's got to be mortals. <laughs> but uh, that yeah, that's what happens.